It's never a dull moment in the fish room. It's always something you gotta figure out, watch for, or anything. But always, thanks for tuning in. This is Ron Johnson, your monster fish keeper or fish enthusiast, your mental health coach, and soon to be therapist. So another project, spontaneously, another project about to happen today. And behind me is a stingray tank. That's the one we're working on today. So what's happening now, I'm noticing, let me show you guys down here. New guy, there we go, powder, you can see him there. He's having some issues, he's not eating enough. But more importantly, what's happening actually is there's, you see there's Ray, there's Diamond, and then there's a Peacock, there's Jack, and Curious George right there. So a lot of fish in a small tank. But that's what the problem is, is that he's not getting the food fast enough. And what I'm noticing right now is that he's looking a little tired, a little lethargic, because he's not eating enough. So what I'm gonna do now is custom make as you guys can see there. So I got an old um, device used for the 180, which is here. I got some pond netting. I got some cutters there. So I'm gonna DIY myself a tank divider to give our boy Powder right there some room in his tank so that we can get this food because it's happening again. People are get this food first and I'm a little concerned. Be proactive, get it finished. And I'm gonna show you guys how DIY a cheap custom DIY obviously uh, tank divider so you guys can do the same thing at home Home Depot all you need is a fish net which is here sorry pond net here I'm gonna reuse an old screen which is right here so I'm gonna cut that in half you guys can see that some zip ties which are there already so here we come and thanks for listening Okay, so I'm back here with the screen, you guys saw it before. I have some zip ties here. Obviously, I have a pipe cutter. I have this one to help cut those little shards off of the um, zip ties itself. I have some cheap pond netting here I'm gonna cut, and that's the suction cup. So what we're gonna do is we'll make a custom DIY uh, thing about it here. Of course, I can go on right now on Petco.com buy one if they have them. They usually get this size tanks. DIY is the way to go just because no one really carries it. So here we go. I'm gonna cut this out. So I used this before on the 180. Don't need a pond at this big and remember. And we're going, so stay tuned.
Mm, not the best, but let's see if it works. Okay, so you probably saw me stop and stare and try to figure out what's going on. And that's what happens when you do a DIY project. You don't know what's gonna happen, you know how it's gonna turn out until you actually do it. So I did it. I had to change my shirt because I got all wet just trying to fix it. And this is how it turned out. Take a look. 
Now you can see the whole idea was putting a divider in the middle here so I can separate powder from the rest of the guys, right? So the problem being is that definitely I need to move some fish around in this tank. So I got Ray, I got powder, I got the Oscar, I got the Peacock, and I also got Jack down there and powder is here. But if I swing this way, you guys can see, I have another tank set up and ready to go, but it's not cycle yet. So if I go back here to this tank, the divider is in. So I'm taking a look up top. So you can see the divider is in. There's powder there. And it looks like to me, it, it's gonna work. So again, looks like it's going to work. I have to step down because it's on a taller stand, but like it's gonna work. I'll keep testing back, but that's a quick, cheap DIY divider when you need one. We're trying to figure out and help a fish out, and that's what I'm doing now. We have to test to see what happens, and I was stuck. You guys saw me, it's pretty funny, but uh, it's ready to go. So always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, and always hit that like button, hit subscribe. Ron Johnson, fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and swimming theorist, and good night.